Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Friday morning this morning, just a personal training, We've got an hour off, so I'm gonna go across, pick up a shake, have some cereal, I'm absolutely starving, it is freezing, and I'm gonna take you through my whole weekend. I don't think this is gonna be a daily vlog, I think it's gonna be a whole vlog of the weekend. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. I didn't have any milk this morning, so I decided to put my protein shake in with my protein wheat bits. I've done that before. Protein shake in your wheat bits. Massive yes for me, that was unreal. Me and Al will both have a half an hour break in between PT. We were just talking about uh, stretching and mobility. Al is really good. I don't know why I'm waving that around like a wand. With like stretching and mobility, and he does a lot of stuff with his clients and a lot of stuff for himself, which is so important for like longevity. Uh, prevent injury and stuff like that. I'm not the best at it. I know I am I'm not very good at it. I don't stretch enough um, and I don't do enough mobility work. So I want to improve it one for myself but also for my clients so I can use it on clients. I always see Al doing it with his clients. So we're actually going to take you through about five or six really good stretches. Al's going to show me and uh, we're going to explain a little bit to you. So if you're interested in sort of good stretches and good mobility work Watch this, if not, skip to this bit on the screen. Okay team, so like I said, with Al, go give him a follow, check out, subscribe to his channel, and he is gonna take us through some mobility work. So let's do it. <coughs> Dragon, we're gonna make sure hips are coming forward. We're kind of at right angles. Hips are coming forward, we start to get a stretch there. And then we're trying to open up the chest as well. We're gonna hang out there for a few seconds. If we do these at the start of the workout, we we'll try and make them a little more dynamic so we could move straight from there, rotate, just spend a few seconds on each side and make it a little bit more dynamic. We're going to move on to uh, some lizard. So we can take hands down, bring that leg up, just explore these angles into your hips. Oh, oh well. Yes, good one. And make that a little bit more difficult if we bring ourselves down to the floor. No chance. <laughs> Literally no chance. Uh, so I'm not getting anywhere near the floor. Look how we thought that. And again, we can make that a little bit more dynamic by <laughs> coming into that press up position, coming down, just spending a few seconds exploring that, swapping it over, coming back down, spend 30 seconds to a minute on this. Uh, we'll move on to pigeon next. So as we're in that same press up position, we move, bring that leg forward, twist it, and then sit yourself back. Again, knee forward, twist, sit yourself back. The goal is to try and get your foot in the mouth. Yeah, if you can get your foot in the mouth. Yes, I love that. Get out there, bro. I feel it. We're going to do some dislocates. This is really good for shoulder mobility. Heart start to loosen up that top of that, that spine, that thoracic spine as well. So we'll grab a, some sort of stick. Uh, all we're going to do is lock those arms out. Chest nice and proud. Up and over. If we keep those arms locked, we can kind of target those shoulders a bit more. Uh, you can also find the closer that your hands are, the harder that mobility will be. All right, so next up, we're gonna try and loosen off that thoracic spine a little bit more. You see, we've got shoulder mobility here, but as soon as that spine is compromised, that shoulder mobility is compromised as well. So one really easy way we can do it, if you've got a foam roller, great, grab a foam roller. I kind of want to line it up right between those shoulder blades. Keep those hips on the bench, arms together, arms locked, and we'll come over. You might feel a few cracks through spine, which is quite nice. And we'll just chill out there, hold that for a few seconds. Wicked then, guys. So that, five quick stretches um, to help mobility, help, which will eventually help them through form and stuff like that. So, big shout out to Al for helping us out there. I'm going to implement all of them because that's one thing I really need to improve on. Now, what have you got, Al? How many more PPs you got? 
I've got a couple. Uh, yeah, three more. Yeah, and then in the I'm gonna crack on with the rest of the day. I'll just have to go and get a lift in. Yeah, put a coffee order in. Yes. Finish work. Got the rest of the afternoon to chill. Got to go to the gym, like I said, but first, Lukey's birthday this weekend and we got a surprise meal for him. So, me and Sam are going to pick up a cake. Yeah, oh no, I didn't know you had that thing with you. Just went for a standard chocolate cake. Got some piggies, because he's a federal agent. Whose idea was that? Is that brains behind that is beyond belief. Yeah, it was my idea. Bush. Um, it's your idea of the Percy pig. The pig cake was all my idea. We were going to go Percy pig. We we're going to get a Percy pig cake. It's too expensive. It's too far. It's too expensive. Yeah. So, Lukey, if you're watching this, I hope you liked it, mate. Love you, mate. Pre-workout of dreams, guys. This white chocolate spread. Mmm. Still unreal. So I'm going to head to the gym. Training solo. Oh, Mr. Lighting. Training solo and it's an upper body workout. Finished that workout then, it wasn't a bad workout, it was alright, it took me a bit of a while to get into it. I actually only showed you like barely anything, but oh well, I didn't want to bore you. I'll tell you what, I'm already getting bored of bulking. I've got, I'm going to be bulking up until the end of Feb, then going into a long cut, probably about four months, really slow and trying to keep as much mass as possible. But I showed you a little bit of like physique at the end there, and it's just like losing definition. And like you when you're bulking you don't feel like you're getting bigger even though you probably are so and you do get stronger and that's a massive plus but yeah I just bulking physiques are always gonna never look as aesthetic are they good morning guys it is the next day going to uh, Virgin Active this morning. I've had work this morning, but I'm going there now. So one of my clients is racing in the Hampshire XT, and it's basically an assault course sort of thing. Al is all oh shit, I'm having real trouble here. There we go. Al is also racing in the XT, so just gonna go cheer the boys on, and then hopefully hit a leg day. Let's roll out. That wraps up the XT. Rob did really well and so did Al. Just Al's just finished his race now, so we're all heading out. Um, I'm out this evening, so I'm gonna cut the vlog off here. I had a good work, I had two workouts. Obviously, didn't film my workout today with Sam because I've had yesterday's workout already in this video. So 
And we also did the stretching and mobility work of our yesterday, which is sort of the main part of this video. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.